He was brought here to help fill a void that no one player could rightfully be expected to replace. He inherited the position of a person he so often squared off against, against whom he has provided as stifling a defense as any. His signing was hailed as one of the most significant in the history of this franchise, a pronouncement that lay in stark contrast to the quiet character of the man whose calm and composed temperament belies the bold nature of such claims. And yet those who knew, knew Lou. Quietly and consistently, Lou Aldang has made a difference and has made an impact. Though entering an environment where a pair of established teammates already command the spotlight, he has proven that when needed, he can play the leading role. Still sporting the tenacious defensive mindset and the keen floor awareness that made him such a sought after acquisition this summer, Lou has been true to the promise and belief that was placed in him. Faced with the challenge of upholding the hopes of Heat Nation in its most significant showdown of the season, Dang delivered a signature performance. Nice pass. Dang on the finish. Dang drives on James, gets past and puts it up. And in. Who else Dang is out of a superb game. The paces required to find a continued comfort in this system are the necessary steps Dang and his teammates must take in order to move forward on a path that will ultimately be less about filling departed shoes and more about finding their own stride. For Miami Heat basketball on Sun Sports. What an amazing 48 hours for Heat Nation. The misery of falling to the Sixers, followed by the elation of high class remembrance, and then a top notch victory. But no time to linger. The Grindhouse Grizz are in town, and they're not happy they have lost four straight. They're trying to get right at 6 01 this game. Following their rousing Christmas Day victory over Cleveland, the Heat ready to take on the season's next challenge. Season's greetings from Miami, Florida, where the Heat faced Memphis. Grizzlies went by 16 on their home court three weeks ago, but arrive in Miami off four straight losses. Hope you enjoy every bouncing basket with us. Miami Heat basketball presented on Sun Sports by AT&T Uverse. And a holiday good evening to the Heat Nation. Hope it's been a great holiday weekend for all of you. And show the folks how this thing, because this was a nice part of the game right here. I, I need two hands and an oop nasty from Zilla. Get the bird. I was asked on Twitter today why he doesn't put the arms out anymore and flop them around. I don't have an answer. <laughs> but I do, I do know Chalmers doesn't care because he's just keeping a push going here. Now, can we talk about Sean Williams for a second? Bad wheel, bad foot, didn't shoot around this morning, John, but he got out there and tried to help out and, and went to it. He did. He, he was able to catch and shoot that triple. Had such a good game on Christmas and, and still a factor running the floor here, able to finish with the left hand, getting out on that wing. He had seven points and then pick and roll, jammy jam. It ain't jelly, because jam don't shake like that. I'm gonna tell you that. If you're going to double team weight, he's going to make you pay distributing the ball. Led the Heat with seven assists, finding the Birdman who rolls to the basket as well as anybody. Dwayne also led the team in scoring with 25. Look at this thing. Oh, he made some tough it. shots today. He did. He did. He was out there on the perimeter quite a bit, making some mid-range shots. They were double teaming him, too. But look at, again, uh, Jack able to find the quick wraparound pass. If you're going to try to double team and zone him there like Gasol did, he is going to find people. That backdoor cut by Dang production. Hot diggity dang! The Cleveland Clinic team play of the game and then Wade off the steal. Fast break action. But Memphis still up 72 69. And there's a little theme about being nip and tuck here as we go to the fourth quarter. Kofis! And one basketball. He snuck that dunk in on white side right there. Deceptively athletic. Then Granger. He had 18 off the pine with a step back on Carter. It's like the beginning of the 2000s right there. Yeah, yeah really. had it right? A little rewind and then Cole from dying for three. Okay, so this is this is the surge part. This gets there, and then it's gonna go back and forth in a second here. Now here's Bird cleaning up some stuff right here. No one puts a body on him. He gets a running head of steam. He's got such good length and, and hops to finish. 13 and four in the contest. Then Cole going up for it. The password is rejection. Wade taking advantage. Ooh, Tayshaun, what happened? 
<laughs> what happened, Tayshia? Right, let me tell you what actually happened. It got tough on the Heat because it just became a free throw foul fest. Exactly. And just all tough inside for two there. And then a crossover by Conley, who, by the way, is a Western Conference All-Star. The coaches are putting him in there because he's having that type of year. He's playing extremely well, picking his spots and able to distribute well. And you're right, that fourth quarter was just execution. They got much better uh, position down low, Jackson. It became a march to the free throw line. They shot 23 free throws to the Heat's five. Uh, they put the ball in the hands of their best players and got to the free throw line. On Christmas against Cleveland, where he made a critical seven points down the stretch, he was firing. You can see his legs are under him. And as a shooter, you got to have a strong base. Danny Granger was aggressive, coming off screens, looking for a shot, got loose. Uh, shaken off on the on the baseline and then put the ball down on the deck and created his own offense something we haven't seen him uh, do at 18 points a season high super efficient look at the seven of ten from the field a couple of three balls um, you know this is a big factor Jax if they can get another weapon a guy who can come in off the bench again once Bosch comes back this adds another dimension another three-point shooter it's a final score, 103.95. It is Monday, by the way. If you'd like to catch tonight's action again, tune in tonight at midnight as we replay all of tonight's action, except for this segment, presented by your South Florida Honda dealers. This has been a presentation of Sun Sports, your exclusive home for Miami Heat basketball. For Eric Reed and the coach Tony Fiorentino, as well as Christian Hewitt, Ron Rothstein, and John Crotty, I believe I'm Jason Jackson. Thanks for watching. Good night, South Florida. We leave you with the final take.